Hello, my name is Topman Paul DK and this is Code Tribe Extra. So I want to teach us today how to do uh, tasks and projects with our phones without having to connect to the sandbox. Okay, uh, if you've not started C programming, this video is not for you, please, so that you don't get confused. Okay, it's a good practice to do this PKG upgrade to upgrade your package and dependencies each before you do any installation why for yes um, okay then after that we as well update it so pkg updates we update them and if i don't want to enter why later like i don't want you to ask me do you want to continue i'll just add hyphen y here so it will uh, download and install without uh, uh, asking me to enter yes <coughs> you know Okay, so let's install this one as well. Um, we get um, Y for yes. Okay, but we need Vim. So PKG install Vim, the test editor. So we are we are putting all the tools we need. You know, on the samples, all these things I thought already for you. Uh, so let's test our Vim to see whether it's working like the Vim you know. You know, so that's it. In start mode, this is uh, just um, test the the vein. Okay, um, so I'll go escape column W for right Q for quit. Uh, that's the um, file there that we just created. So let's do this. Emacs. Now you can see Emacs is not here. So let's install it um, by doing PKG. You can see the instruction is there already. You can install Emacs and then sometimes the errors you see on this terminal, sometimes they carry the instruction of what you need to do. So don't be scared when you see errors. Read, read through, decide uh, that you need to read through, just read through, scan through. You might see what to do next. All right, so if I do, if I enter Emacs again, see what happens now. The interface that greets you when you enter Emacs is what is greeting us now. So Emacs is installed, right? Control X, Control C to close. Another way to check whether Emacs is installed is to do this. You can see. So let's check whether GCC is installed. Of course, it's not installed. Let's install it. Plange. Okay. When it finish, when it, when, when it finishes, uh, when the installation completes, we check it again. So let's check it again gcc version you can see it's there it's right there right so um i'm testing our emacs to make sure that it's working um uh, yeah as well control x control s control x control c okay there we go let's uh i want to um now emacs has created a duplicate file right if you don't want this to happen you can configure emacs not to create duplicate files or to create it but to put it elsewhere where it will not disturb you now let's write a program to test our gcc whether it's working let's write a c program so i'm going to um, i'll call this one greet me so emacs greet underscore me dot c include standard input output header file and man void i just let the program print hello top man and the new line and that's all return zero and we are good so um oh i close without saving it so at this point i need to enter y y and then enter that's it so let's just see the file that's the file there let's compile the file I'm expecting it to give us the default name, which is a.out. Check it out. That's it there. Let's run the file and see whether or not it's working well. And it's working well. So if I didn't want to want this default name, I can make it have the name that I wanted to have by adding hyphen O and writing the kind of name I want the executable file to have. Grid. Now look at it. Grid is there. Let's run it. So it's working well. Hello, top man. So another thing you want to install is Git, so that you'll be able to Git clone. You'll be able to push the Git from here as well. It's very necessary because this is you trying to be able to do your projects without connecting to the sandbox. I mean, you can do your project without data. When you're true, then you want your data to push the Git. 
you know so um let's don't forget to configure your git globally right configure it i i want to believe that you are familiar with this thing now that's name and then you enter your username your github username mine is still pod uh, control a control k okay and then the next one is to um, ask well <clears throat> identify your email or configure your email uh, let's get identify you so my email is top man for love world at gmail.com <clears throat> All right, so uh, do control A, control K. Please, the control A, control K is not part of it. I mean, I didn't want to really do it. I didn't want to press enter because I didn't want to do it. So that is uh, a some Emacs command that works here on the terminal as well. And so um, you could go ahead and install several things. You know, you could uh, install the man page. You could install Betty. You could install sudo. You could install Python. Even Ubuntu. You can install Ubuntu. All right. Thank you very much. Do well to um, subscribe to this channel. Uh, it should be very lovely. And follow me. Please follow me on GitHub, Twitter. Let's connect. LinkedIn, Facebook. And once more, thank you for seeing this video.